Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ellison Cruz, and it brings me great joy to welcome you back to this wonderfully sultry little alley here in Inkwell Isle Number 3, here in Cuphead, where previously a strange fork dressed in extremely suave robe wear uh, handed us a visual filter in the form of a two-strip film, and uh, as a result, we're now wearing it for a little bit, since we didn't have time to play with it too much last time. So I figured we'd go ahead and enter the final mausoleum and play with it there, just so you guys can kind of see the weird association that it has, and just how a filter can change the game. The good rules are out tonight. So yes, uh, these are now creamsicle colored ghosts, and not necessarily pink cotton candy, so that's great. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty much the same, except we're fighting a lot of ghosts here, and they seem really intent on getting this one, so please and thank you. And we have the addition of a giant ghoul. We can't do anything to him, although he becomes two when we parry him. So thank you for that. Okay, so let's watch these guys because they can be annoying. And this doesn't seem like that bad of a pattern, actually. What? Bouncing ball? Uh, parry five... What? When did I do that? I was, like, in the middle of two of them when I got that. Weird. Alright, well, we should almost be done. No! No! Is success achievable? Uh, apparently not. So this is what it looks like when you die. Um, Here comes let, let, let the record show that uh, the first death of this project came from uh, a mausoleum. I mean, I'm not counting those other four in the beginning, because one, Ori disconnected the recording for one of them, and two, the others were pre-recording. I wasn't in the middle of a session for those, so that's great. Um, I just missed the timing, that's all. I'm bad. Why am I so bad at this game? There we go. Alright. That that was probably the last, like, wave of them. <laughs> we have to show that now. I mean, come on. Oh, and there I go, missing. Missing more of them. So, yeah, a really good place to get multiples in a row, especially if you need to go back for that one early on. Woo! No, 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 not again. Alright. Are we going to get the spooky, spooky organ? There it is. Anyone else? Anyone else? And done. Victory! Yes, victory at long last. Good God. Man, you better be worth it, legendary. Uh, thank goodness you came by. Those lousy ghosts had me, but good that time. <laughs> Here's the last magical super horn I was able to find for you. Well, time for me to take a powder. <laughs> good luck. Yeah, I'll see you in the DLC. Um whenever that comes out. Looking forward to it, I'm telling you guys, right now. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, screw it, we'll show it. I mean, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so we unlocked a new super, which, um, depending on how you use it, could be decent. I don't really see it in my repertoire anytime soon, but essentially, we summon a giant ghost. We maneuver our spirit and body simultaneously for max damage. So if you're fighting an enemy that is directly above you, it's fantastic. Go for it. But for now, let's turn this thing off, please. Thank you. And uh, let's get back to some more Cuphead, shall we? So last time we took out Calamaria, and she uh, made way for a lovely little theater here, which I would like to take on here and now. And uh, we get to take on Sally Stage Play, a dramatic fanatic. Why the hell not? Probably one of the easiest fights in the entire game. And... Okay, I'm not exactly sure where I'm interjecting here, but um, welcome to a re-record of this fight. Uh, out of all of them to do poorly on, it would be this one, and I just don't want to show that it took two and a half minutes to beat her because she would not give me the parries. Apparently, the only way you can get parries in this fight is from her blowing kisses to you on this first phase. And although this is a really unique fight, um, the amount of time it takes her to show us a little bit of love is a little excruciating. I thought there was a star later on that could uh, give us a, a parry, but apparently it doesn't. So I just felt like re-recording, because this is probably the easiest fight on the entire island, sans Captain Brinybeard. But thank you, that is the last one. And now what we can do is go to phase two. When you see the angels disappear from the corners, uh, she successfully gets hitched. 
and uh, you know, out of the uh, wedding and into the bedroom. So here, drink your 2% and uh, we'll continue on with uh, additional hazards. Now you want to be careful because with the fans, uh, they'll stick there and yeah. Ugh. For some reason she has like little remote controlled mice and I don't know why. So I think having the chaser for this isn't the greatest idea. I couldn't really think of another alternative um, without going to the charger because it would be okay here, but I just want to be able to shoot. And in the last phase, it's actually somewhat useful. Now, easiest phase right here. She stays in the same spot, but she will summon various things such as a meteor. And when you break it open, it will have a star that you need to uh, uh, parry off of to get over the big wave, but you can just go right through it. It's easy. Okay, I really like the way this this particular <laughs> set looked. But now we've got uh, the end of her life. Apparently, she is gonna be dead. Come on, come on. Mm. There we go. Wow, that was extra fast that time. Wow. All right. So you probably didn't see it, but the audience will be throwing roses, and one of them can be pink, but they're really hard to find. And oh no! Thank God, I hit two minutes exactly. So, yeah, I managed to get just a measly A last time, but this, uh, I was not happy with the performance because it took so long, so we decided to go for that, and, uh, we're good. I think, I think we're fine. I already saw the flag go up, so we just restarted it, but hopefully that's okay for you. Uh, so excited! Alright, so now that that's done, it managed to open up a pathway that leads to the final area of the game. And these are the train tracks that we crossed before, you guys remember, the beginning of the game. Which for some people might have been a long time ago. <laughs> but uh, we also uh, can speak to this man. So, Ludwig's been filling your mungs with his less is more drivel, huh? Yeah, he's the phonograph. Keep talking to that fool and soon nothing right will sound right. Nothing right will sound right to you. Don't say I didn't warn you. So we're going to have to do a little bit of back and forth on that, and unfortunately we don't have a quick way of doing that because, well, we can go down over here, but it's a dead end. We're just back at that alley. But it does take us to another fan favorite of this particular world, and we're going to go with the charge and probably, I would say, the roundabout, uh, even though we're probably going to stick with the charge mostly. And, uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to the fan favorite, Werner Woman in Green Core. Oh yeah, this is this is the one. I like it. I'll just I'll just let it do the talking for you. <laughs> so we've got ourselves a smoking mouse in a uh, soup can, and this is good because he will throw pink shoes at us. That's actually really good. Uh, I'm looking. Oh no 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 no! I definitely want those. Okay, we're going to need to wait until the very end of the fight to get our last two parries. But just keep on hitting him with the charges. And eventually, ah, oh, we should have been able to get off a super. Oh, this is no good. And I missed. How did that miss? Cherry bombs are no good. But here, you know what? Take this. Take it now. And we're on to phase two. We've got bottle caps that will kill us. And also, uh, depending on what level you're on, a flamethrower. So be careful and avoid the rotating uh, bottle caps. Because those will mean death for you. Oh, this is bad. Can't hit him from down there. Okay. We'll just go back and forth. Be wary. Ugh. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, the whole wall is problematic, but now. Uh oh. <laughs> We've got the giant cat in the back taking control and getting us with his super long uh, arms. Now, what we want him to do is summon the ghosts of his previous meals, and I missed. Actually, you know what? Let's not kill him or do too much damage because we need to get these two parries. Here we go. They will summon orbs. Thank you. Alright, uh, let's start doing some damage. Come on, another orb, please. Oof. Okay, we got it. Is that gonna do... Is that... Ooh, that board almost hurt. I mean, that's not good. Alright, we're almost there. Here we go. Last hit. Yes. I don't know, this game brings an indescribable joy going through and beating them, even like all these years later, all these playthroughs later. It's just so satisfying. But there we have it. A plus for Warner and One Man. It was a great fight. I loved it. Well done. Well done, crew. We did it. 
this is uh, where that streak is going to end. I'm just going to let you guys know right now. <laughs> Not looking forward to it. Do get a nice little shortcut back to the beginning, though. And the contracts of both a mechanical cat and uh, a Nazi mouse. So, that's great. <laughs> So now it's time to do a couple of uh, stages that I've really not been looking forward to. And uh, before we do that, actually, let's go talk to you. My friend Wolfgang warned you about me, didn't he? I thought he might, and he was right to do so. Not everyone prefers to hear what I have to share. Oh, so I have to go talk to him again? Great. Uh, we'll do that in a minute. We don't need to do it now, but let's go ahead and take on the rugged ridge. Oh, boy. Here we go. We got this. Because the stage actually isn't that bad, but there's some real dumb elements to it that I do not like, so I'm ready because it is on. Let's just go ahead and smoke dash the hell through everything here. They do not matter whatsoever. And, oh, we've also got a very sleepy uh, stone kitten here. Let's avoid him and uh, move on. Let's go through. This guy's actually kind of funny because we can go and step on his toes and... <laughs> Laden heads! Laden heads! Alright, so we have a bit of an auto-walking section. I don't know why I just called it that, but it's basically the thing. And what we can do is listen out for the music. Because when it starts turning weird, as it will shortly, uh, we have a coin. Here we go. Okay, and also watch the background because there it is. Our next coin. Woo! Okay. Now, this part's really annoying because we've got these little baby minotaur things that are just frolicking. And a wall. Uh, shoot. So you can... There you go. Go right over them that way. And these guys are so annoying. You know what? I might actually need to take damage for one of them if they're... Oh, he didn't walk in that direction. All right. Um, this one right here. Dude, you just literally came out of nowhere. Ooh. Damn it. All right. Let's just get over. Ugh. I can usually do the stage without taking damage, but now we have ourselves yet another kind of auto-scrolling level. We need to avoid the giant one-eyed beast with the very lovely eyebrow, the unibrow of justice, and so on. So we're just going to go a little bit carefully. We do have an extra hit to spare in case we're bad. Uh, no, 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 no! Oh no, I completely misjudged that. Holy smokes. You can only correct so much. Uh, with your smoke dash over a pit. Damn, that's dumb. This is usually the one that I actually have done more consistently over the, the days and hours, but there we go. That section should be free every time, but you know, in case you didn't get the memo, I'm just, I'm real bad at this game. So that should have only taken, ooh, that was bad. That was really long. But with that having been said and done, that's our final pacifist. I forgot about that. Coffers full, Ma. <laughs> Coffers full. Yes, I did do that, right? And then, ah, there it is. All right. So we are a pacifist. Only 1.26% of the populace that have played this game were able to achieve that. So that's great. But we now have invented steps. So now the sultry alley can become uh, mainstream again. Now this stage, oh boy, the second half of this stage is, uh, it's a heartache, man. So we're going to go and equip that coffee, hope that that extra caffeine does something for us here. And we're going to take on uh, Dr. Carl's robot in Junkyard Jive. Let's do it. Uh, I, I just have no words. The first half is easy. Because check it out, it's 1930s Iron Giant. How is it going? So watch out for the beam. And what we need to do is destroy all these orifices. Don't worry about parries so much because you're going to get a bunch of them in the second half. But yeah, we'll want to get rid of these. And actually, we do want to try and get five bars here. Perfect. Because we want to expose his heart. Once these are done, there we go. Let's... Oh, this was a bad idea. All right, perfect. And first phase is done easy. Now what we want to do here is switch to bombs and try and shoot his head because he's going to be flying along the bottom there. But what I like to do is use the bombs EX and have a bunch of homing little magnets kind of magnetize onto him. And uh, it's pretty good because it takes him out real quick. 
Now this fight, this phase of it, is not good. Welcome to Bolt Hell, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Cuphead Edition, where hitboxes apparently do not exist, and I am not going to be paying attention to supers, because all I want to do is survive. This is literally half the fight. If you die at the start of this, it's you've only gotten through half of it. It's so much here, and just you will have no shortage of things to parry. Just keep an eye out for things in the foreground, especially. Okay, you can chill out, Dr. Wily. I would appreciate it. Come on, are you not gonna die for me? Good God, okay. It's... Okay, hold on, <laughs> hold on. What is going on? Why are you not, thank you. I was gonna say, why aren't you dead? <laughs> Damn. Uh... <laughs> oh my head hurts. That's way too stressful. I hate it. <laughs> I absolutely hate it. But we did it. Um, not exactly sure how, but we got through it and uh, life is good. So, you know what? With that being said and done, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I did plan on stopping here, but let's take a look at a couple of other things before we end off. Just to, you know, give a little bit of length to this stage. We now opened his garage and we've taken the contract of uh, the robot's soul, apparently. Apparently the doctor had nothing to do with it, but check it out. We are, we're back up here. It's lovely. Why don't you go talk to your friend? what I tell you about talking with that minimalist balloon? This is more. <laughs> All right, well, at this point, we can finish the conversation tree. You came back. I suspected you might. I can tell you have an appreciation for true art. Behold my minimalist masterpiece. And he changes the overworld tune, which is quite nice. So while I would call this far from minimalist, uh, it's got a nice little jazzy tune. But now that we've gotten pacifist rank across all running guns, we can speak to him. Ah, you found the path of pacifism. I am quite impressed. You shall now be able to see the world in a new light. Go in peace. Uh, thank you. Bravo, you just earned a few bonuses. So we have new visual and audio modes. Forgot about the audio part, uh, but thank you. Let's uh, explore that, shall we? I do like the music though. So our new filter is uh, black and white. So, yeah, we can still adjust the color bleed and stuff, but, yeah, we'll be fine. Now, vintage mode music is exactly what you'd expect of it. I like it. It's it's weird, and it sounds strange in my left headphone, so we won't be wearing it long, but, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for joining me. Next time, we'll be taking on the Phantom Express and Railroad Wrath. Not a fan of this stage, but you know what? We'll get through it. And then we have the Dice King and the Devil himself, perhaps, to contend with. All right? My name is Allison Cruz, and I'll see you guys next time.